and welcome back to my channel. So I am here today with a friend. This is Claire. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Claire. I We met on our Disney College program. I was a lifeguard at Typhoon Lagoon and that's pretty much me. Awesome. So I'm going to put her Instagram right down below us here. Make sure you go check it out and follow her. Also check out my Instagram too. Link in description. Um, but right now today we are going to be talking about the lifeguard role. We've talked a lot about the merchandise role, which is what I obviously did on my program. But Claire being a lifeguard did something very different. So we're going to talk about that today because I know it is a common role for people to get. So obviously you were a lifeguard at Typhoon Lagoon, right? right? And that was over the summer of 2018. And uh, what was one thing that you loved about your role? I'd say I love, there are a lot of good things about my role and especially my location. We had really good hours, especially into the middle of the summer. I, it was kind of a pro and a con, but there was a lot of walking and you're outside the entire time. So you got really tan really fast, <laughs> but, and you got a lot of exercise, but I, I don't know they're really good people and you yeah. got a lot of time to kind of hang out with people and like mm -hmm. make friends so I'd right. say that's me. Can we talk about your awkward tan lines for a second? <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, she that had the worst fault, Crocs tan. I mean you could have worn running shoes. <laughs> it was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> the deal. Disney has shoes that you're allowed to wear and shoes you're not allowed to wear so they gave us Crocs for free that didn't have any holes but they didn't have any like ventilation. I was like I'm okay. not gonna wear like shoes in the water that are gonna give me like fungus on my feet. Oh true. So I went out and I bought my own Crocs with the holes in them because I needed some air yep. flow to my toes. <laughs> Later do I find out you could have bought like sandals, but <laughs> my bad. So it's I fine. had a Croc tan. It's fine. <laughs> oh, what is one thing that you hated about your role? Hated. Touch and go. Sometimes it did get a little boring. I was a shallow water guard, so okay. I was basically only on the lazy river. Mm -hmm. And if it was busy, it could be a little stressful and you're just watching the whole time being like, is that person okay? Is that person okay? Like you all, were always on the go. But then in the opposite was if it was a little dead that day, you were right. just sitting there kind of like trying to entertain yourself. Mm -hmm. So there are kind of pros and cons to both, but okay. Yeah. Awesome. And what did an average day look like for you from like clock in to clock out mm -hmm. kind of thing? Good question. Yeah. Okay. So there are kind of two different shifts that I had on my program. When I first got there from May, June, that sort of area, mm -hmm. we had uh, shorter operation hours. So your shift was usually around eight hour from 10 or 945 in the morning to five or 6 PM around okay. there. That was like pretty much the whole hours. What were the water park hours? 10 to 5 or 10 to 6, depending. Okay, so you so were kind of like, working the entire day. Yeah, okay. usually it was like 15 minutes before the park opened, you started, and mm -hmm. then 15 to half an hour after was okay. kind of the general. So that was May, June, and then for the hot part of the summer, we extended hours from 10 to 8-ish. So then you would either have, you would have six hour shifts, that's why. Right. All of a sudden I was free all the time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we would have either morning shift, which was 10 to 4-ish, or afternoon shift, which was 2 to 8 or 2 to 9. Okay. So. That's not too bad. Yeah, no. Really good hours. Awesome. At Typhoon, really good hours. Awesome. Oh, let's talk about your training a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you did that not even in Typhoon Lagoon. You went to the, what was it called? Mickey's Retreat. Retreat for a lot of that, right? Yeah. We had like operations and all of that with you guys okay. with everyone all together mm -hmm. and then we had three days I believe of lifeguard training okay so that's kind of like the fun thing about Disney lifeguarding you don't need any experience previously you just need to basically know how to swim okay and they teach you everything right so we had three days at Mickey's retreat we learned uh, like how Disney wants you to do the rescues we learned mm -hmm. first aid CPR all of that stuff okay. and then there's like an exam period at the end so as long as you test out 
mm -hmm. and you know your stuff, you're pretty much good to go. And then we had, like everyone does on the job training for I think another three days. We had like a shadow day and then a day where you guarded but someone was with you and then you had your test out. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. And you were a lifeguard before too, so you yeah. had a lot of the training, but do you think it would be fairly easy for someone to learn who had not been a lifeguard previously going into I it? I do. As long as, all you really need to do is pass the swim test. So you do that when you first get mm -hmm. on property. The shallow one is very easy. It's like two lengths, I think. So like uh, 50 meters. Okay. And then the deep one is also like not super hard if you know how to swim. It's like 200 meters. Mm -hmm. And then you do uh, pick up a brick and tread water for two minutes. Oh, that's So as long as you can do that, they mm -hmm. teach you like, it's fast paced, but as long as you stay on top of it and you like go home and if you don't know it previously like you go yeah. home and you study your stuff you'll be fine okay did you have to save any lives no, no. I was like <laughs> I'm not disappointed because obviously that's great that yeah, I didn't have to actually to do it yeah but mm -hmm. I was like expecting to show up and be like jumping in 24 7 <laughs> and people were I just got lucky I think that's good yeah mm. just <laughs> enforced my rules <laughs> I think it'd be a lot worse in like the wave pool and that too the deep definitely, water definitely yeah, yeah for wave sure. pool people were, were jumping all the time like if someone yeah. didn't jump on the wall it was a rarity okay mm -hmm. what did your costume look like oh very cute okay we'll insert a picture like right <laughs> over my face okay so we had a red bathing suit pro tip wash your own costumes once you find something that fits just keep it and do it yourself because costuming is not very close to the water parks at least I think mm. resort pools they might have costuming Maybe. closer so if you're in that situation kind of figure it out yourself but in my case was not super close so definitely find something that fits try them on as like gross as that is like yeah you are sharing bathing suits there are they are washed yeah but the sizing is a little sketchy, so make sure you try something on, find it comfortable, because you're going to be in it all day, every day, and make it fit. So that was the bathing suit. Mm -hmm. Shallow water guards, sorry, you're never really going to be able to wear that by itself. If you're deep, you got to wear just the bathing suit, you get a nice normal tan line. Oh, okay. The rest of us, not so much. So you wear your bathing suit, you have your red, high-waisted Bermuda shorts. Oh, hot. Really <laughs> cute. Um, your white polo, so you could have a short sleeve or a long sleeve option mm -hmm. and then your whistle you could have a, either a, like a baseball cap a okay. red baseball cap mm -hmm. or they had like a wide rim almost like a tilly hat okay yeah I never got that but yeah the baseball that sounds a little little cuter yeah a little <laughs> cuter and then your whistle your fanny pack I love my fanny pack. What you was in your this. fanny pack? You, nothing, <laughs> mostly. No, you had your your pocket mask, so if someone went down, like, okay. easy access, you had that on you at all mm -hmm. times. And then you had, like, your little cheat sheet of rotation cards, so okay. that's pretty much it, like a map of the park. Okay. Oh, you had two towels, some gloves. Oh, so you were, like, all set, ready to go? All set, but not too set. Like, if someone yeah. needed a Band-Aid, you had to, like, set <laughs> tell them to walk for a little bit. But okay. other than that, it was good. And then, that was pretty much it. Your Crocs slash yeah. your sandals, sandals if you're not me. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. And you worked, you were deployed for a little bit, right? I was. Where were you deployed to? I was deployed to All Star Movies, so okay. that resort. And most people, if you if you tell them that, they're like, ooh, like, All Star Movies, great. But I loved it. Like, yeah. I would have stayed there if I could. It was so fun. The hours were a little different there. They had a morning shift and an afternoon shift, but okay. theirs were like 8 to 4 and 3 till... 10 ish okay. I might be getting that wrong but it was like, like the there's more than one pool there right yeah they had two pools where I was I think most resorts have like three four ish yeah. it was one of the smaller ones it was mm -hmm. very chill but yeah you would rotate from pool to pool just garden that super easy simple yeah very fun love nice. the leaders there yeah and what bus rest were you taking Oh, the best one. <laughs> you know, too. Yeah, I would take the same one. Yeah, except we never saw each other, which no. is very we, upsetting. But I always worked, like, late nights. Like, I would have been co going to work as you were, like, coming, coming home. home. Yeah. Um, but we both took the F bus route to Typhoon Lagoon. Mm -hmm. And you took the K the to K the K All, -Star, to All -Star. which is a long... It's a long one. A long route. For sure. Um, K was nice, because you could go to, like, Cast Connections if you needed to, but it was okay. also, like, you had to spend an hour... <laughs> Hour at Cast Connections and then make your way home. Yeah, so it was a time. The F was awesome though, uh, especially Typhoon. Mm. 
kind of on topic but off topic, would mm -hmm. you recommend people bring a car if they can or what did you think of the bus system <laughs> overall? Because that's a, a good qu a question it's, a lot of people ask. Yeah, very valid. I, if you have a car and you're comfortable bringing it and you have like the means, yeah, I say do it. Like it saves you a lot of time. Even like I had a good mm -hmm. bus route, like it, I only had to leave for work like maybe 20 minutes, half an hour before my shift. Yeah. Like it was very easy for me and it still took like an excessive amount of time. So definitely if you have one, do it. But if not, like don't panic. Like we made yeah. out fine. You just we have did, to plan yeah. your life and like be able to do things. Mm -hmm. I did have a couple of times, I think it only happened twice, but where I was like late for the bus and then I had to like <laughs> t take a sneaky Uber to <laughs> yeah. the to mm -hmm. work. But yeah, when you took the Uber though, it only took like five, 10 minutes. Oh yeah. yeah it like, was it like, wasn't, housing like, is pretty close. To Disney Springs and like Typhoon Lagoon and all mm -hmm. that. What's one really bad experience that you had at work? Like a story. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> one day uh -oh. we were having uh this this summer, like 2018, they had the glow parties when we right, went yeah. to that one. So they would happen a couple nights a week in like after the park closed for normal guests, the mm -hmm. glow party would continue. Right. So one of these days. It was thunderstorming all day, pretty much like the day that we went, yeah. <laughs> but the park was closed. And whenever the park is closed, the lifeguards have certain like areas that were designated to, to like talk to guests and interact and like make sure no one's going in the water, right. keep everyone safe. Mm -hmm. um, so me and like my fellow lifeguards for our location, we're standing there just like chatting with guests, having a good time. This one family came over, they were very upset about the closure, which is understandable. And right. at this point, it wasn't even raining anymore, but there was still like thunder in the radius. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the most frustrating for everyone. Yeah. It's like, it's nice out, like, why can't I go in the and water? And people don't understand that either. Like, they don't understand, like, it's not raining right now, why can't we go in? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they were upset about that, which is totally fine, but they yeah. were a little too upset about it, mm. and very boisterous, I would say. Okay. We had to call some leaders over, Ooh. get every <laughs> get everyone all right, mm -hmm. um, but then, just wait, there was also people coming in at this time for the glow party, because they oh. would come in kind of at the same time as people were on their way out, Right. so it was all like intermixed, so these people were coming and they're like, oh, we paid all this extra money, mm -hmm. like why is the park not even open we just got here like what's happening yeah and I would say that was definitely a little rough yeah. especially when you're like standing there and you're soaking mm -hmm. wet like because yeah you and we just know the other side the of rain. that too like that literally happened to us mm -hmm. in the middle of the glow party vlog links <laughs> yeah, <right>. um, <laughs> yeah but um yeah that sucks yeah do you have a magical moment moment I do about that like Okay, I have two. Okay. One was, there was a rental kind of near the beginning of the our program mm -hmm. at Typhoon, and it was for, I forget the exact company, but it was uh, during Pride Week. Okay. So it was like a Pride event. Like they rented out the entire park? The entire park, yeah. Okay. So it was a very weird shift. I think I worked like five in the evening to like 2.30 in the morning. Like that oh, was wow, okay. the longest, not the longest, but the... Uh, latest that I ever worked. Yeah. I think probably like one of the latest days Typhoon has ever opened. Probably. So it's this Pride event and there were a lot of like gay couples there mm -hmm. and it, it was so fun. I was on the river and I was on not the best rotation. There was a lot of walking on it. Okay. So I was a little like tired, a little like happy but not my happiest ever mm -hmm. and I'm just like watching my river like how you do and this couple floats by in their twos and they're like talking to me they're like oh how are you doing I was like oh I'm great like how yeah. are you guys are you enjoying your night they're like yes queen like work <laughs> it like work that fanny pack oh and God. I was like I love that oh, so much <laughs> Oh, it was the best and that literally uh, turns your night around like definitely. people say that and then you're like really like someone just said mm. that to you and you're happy But it really does. It's you're the just little like, comments, especially if you're having like a bad day or something yeah. Yeah. And literally the rest of the night I just kept like remembering it and I was like oh, 
<laughs> and like I didn't even make that moment. Like they were just making it for I'm me. I'm a queen. Right? Literally, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was my first one. And then my second one, I actually did something. Don't worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was actually also a rain closure. So the area that I was at was kind of like the beach area. So there was like a lot of sand around. Okay. And there was a lot of us there. So there were a couple people kind of watching the water. The rest of us were just kind of talking to guests. Mm -hmm. There was this little, there was this family with a little girl and her brothers. And they were making sandcastles. And I was like, well, uh. <laughs> if you're making sandcastles, <laughs> I can make a sandcastle. So we're making sandcastles, having fun. This little girl's like, oh, can can you make me a, into a mermaid? And I was like, oh, goodness gracious, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> but then I'm like, brain blast. So we bury her all in sand. Yeah. Her legs are covered. I'm like carving out a mermaid tail for her. And we like drew designs on it. It was like super cute. Yeah. And then her mom comes over. She's like, oh my gosh, you're a mermaid. It was, it was a good time. That's so cute. Like took the pictures. Aww. I was like, yeah, this is this is why we're doing it. Definitely. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Do it was, you get to good time. Do you get to see the picture at all? Do you have no, it? No. I wish. Search his Instagram. I told her, I told the mom, I was like, okay, so like make sure you like hashtag like Typhoon Lagoon, like make sure you like hashtag cat it out there. <laughs> yeah, right. I was gonna say that and then I was like, no, don't be greedy. <laughs> I was like, just like Typhoon, like make sure you you know, like tag Typhoon, like take Disney. Figure it out. Yeah. She said she was going to, but mm. no. Mm. <laughs> it's out there somewhere. It yeah, exists. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta like go on the hunt. Let's finally go into just some like general tips for mm. college program students, people who don't know a lot about the program, maybe they're nervous about something. Um, what is one thing you wish you knew before you started the program? Mm. I think just how how crazy it's gonna be but how fun it will be like I went in knowing it was gonna be a good time like kind of nervous I didn't mm. like know anyone my complex was kind of weird I yeah. was like I don't know what I'm gonna do here and then like people tell you make the most of it and people tell you you're gonna be tired you're gonna be exhausted just keep pushing through like mm -hmm. go to the parks like have fun but you really like need to do that and I don't think I realized it until like Honestly, like maybe until June, like yeah. almost a month in when it was like, wow, we need to start doing these things that we've been saying mm -hmm. like, oh, we should do this. We should do this. Yeah. Like the second you get there, just like hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. I remember us doing that too. It was like the middle of June and we were like, we haven't really done anything. We just go to the parks and do the same rides over mm -hmm. and over. Like we need to get a move on. Then we started doing like character dining and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the thing you miss the most? From Disney? From either Disney, your job, your anything. <sighs> okay. One, pretty obvious, the people. Like, mm -hmm. we're together, which is yeah. awesome. Like, coincidentally live in Literally, the Literally, like, city. somehow we didn't know each other before the program, and now we live, like, what, did it take you, like, ten minutes to get here? Literally Literally. So, like, we're pretty close, but... Definitely. But, yeah. like, our other friends, I'm, like, see you in the other side of Canada, and, like, see my work Alberta. friends. I miss them a ton. Yeah. But, honestly, just being there like you don't realize while you're there and honestly by the end I was like ready to come home I was like yeah all right, I think like, we all were we had getting kind of yeah. tired like love the park still but like missing my family like I'm mm -hmm. ready I'm kind of like it's complete like I'm ready to leave yeah but now oh every day I just like literally every day I look through my photos and I'm just like what can I post like I don't want to be that <laughs> annoying person throw back but throw back literally and I watch like happily ever after my videos really? and I just like want to cry like I just miss yeah being like in the bubble yeah the bubble uh, yeah <laughs> okay guys so we are gonna close this out here thank you so much for watching uh give this a thumbs up for claire coming on uh she's gonna be in a couple more videos over the next couple of weeks Good. so yeah stay tuned <laughs> make sure you subscribe and you know if you love claire like i do go hey. check her out on social media um but thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a magical rest of your day bye